Today you're going to be working with uh, some simple collage techniques to make a collage and I would like you to focus on emotions, feelings, moods. So choose colors and shapes and designs that you think will help explain the way something feels. So like mad, angry, sad, scared, frightened, excited. We're going to use hole punches, scissors, and glue sticks. You can get some scraps of color out of the scrap paper box and we're going to be gluing them onto a sheet of black paper. Please make sure on the back of your paper that you always put your name and class before you do any cutting or gluing. Put this on the back so that it doesn't get covered up. Then have some fun, cut out some shapes. You can try overlapping them, that means putting shapes on top of shapes. You might even try using some of the things that you cut out and thinking about the space in the middle as negative space. And then all your little hole punch things that you saved. Maybe figure out a way to add those to your design as well. I would try arranging first, which means laying them on your paper and then moving them around. You might even ask the person next to you, say, what does this make you think of? Does it seem happy? Does it seem sad? If they can't answer, then maybe you want to get some suggestions from them, some grows about how you could make it better. Once you're happy with the way things look, you've arranged it, you've rearranged it, then you can start gluing. When you glue, I would suggest you glue all of your big and background area stuff first, saving your smaller things and things on top for last. Remember when you use glue sticks, you don't need a lot, just a dot, not a lot. When you're done using your glue stick, make sure the lid goes back on. Make sure your materials get put away when you're done gluing everything down. This will go in the drying rack. All scraps can go back in the scrap box, unless they're really small or kind of, kind of crumply like this then those will go in the recycling. Again, make sure your name and class is on the back. Figure out what kind of mood or emotion you are making. And it might also be a good idea to write that a mood or emotion or feeling on the back so you don't forget what your thoughts were at the beginning. So if I'm working on happy with happy colors, I might write that on my paper.